Today's scripture readings from the lectionary echo what we know to be true, that God works through the most unexpected and unlikely people to scatter the proud and lift up the lowly. As ever, God levels the playing field when an older Elizabeth becomes pregnant with a boy who will grow to be the one we call John the Baptizer. God chooses a teenage girl named Mary to be the body through which God will enter the world. God will be raised in the boy Jesus by a carpenter and an inexperienced, unexpected young mother. God calls upon the unqualified, the untrained, and the unknown to be workers and saints. God asks for no resume, verifies no background check, and confirms no references. God calls the unsavory, the powerless, the poor, the infirmed, and the crooked. And we too, at one time or another, all of those things are called and sought out by God, even when we feel unwilling, even when we feel unworthy, and even when we feel underwhelming. Yes, God picks even us first to be on the team, for all are welcome at Christ's table. Everyone is welcome at Christ's table. Please join me in our affirmation of faith by repeating after me. We believe in an Advent God. We believe in an Advent God. Life giver and creator. Life giver and creator. Generous with grace and overflowing with love. Generous with grace and overflowing with love. We believe in Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us. We believe in Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us. Born to change the world through love. Born to change the world through love. We believe in spirit continually poured out in us. We believe in spirit continually poured out for us. A sign of God's gift of love. A sign of God's gift of love. And God's presence in all things. And God's presence in all things. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Life-giving God, today we gather at this table of love, eager to say yes to God's amazing gift of Jesus. Here we remember the story of Jesus' birth and the world-turning good news of his life, death, and resurrection. On this last Sunday of Advent, we bring our weary selves to share in this feast prepared for all who accept the invitation. Though broken, the bread can make us strong enough to say no to the builders of unjust systems, to the bullies who stalk our world, to the braggarts who deceive with false words. Through only a cup, God's grace made known to us in Jesus fills us with the courage to say yes, to follow our Lord's lead, to the ill in need of medicine, to the lonely longing for acceptance, to the hungry eager to receive food for body as well as soul. And when God's realm of grace is finally complete, when your kingdom come is here on earth, then we gathering from every time and place will be seated around your banquet table where we will join voices to sing your praises saying, Holy, 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 Lord, God of power and might. Holy, 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 Lord, God of power and might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. O come, O come, Emmanuel. O come, O come, Emmanuel. The one who comes in the name of the Lord. The one who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Amen. Amen. And now, as we prepare to celebrate his birth, we remember the life that this baby will live. We remember how he broke the bonds of human tradition and ate openly with the despised and the outcast. And we remember one special meal on the night before he would be arrested that he ate with his closest friends. Jesus gathered them together in an upper room to share God's story of hope, peace, joy, and love. He took bread, blessed it, and broke it. Then passed it to them saying, this is my body broken for you. Take, eat, do this in remembrance of me. After that, he took the cup. And he filled it. He blessed it and passed it to them saying, this is the cup of the new covenant. Whenever you drink it, remember me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim our Lord's life, death, and resurrection until Christ comes again. Let's pray. Creator of life and love, at this table we are filled and renewed. May this bread be a symbol for us of your goodness, and may we mirror that in our own acts and words. May this cup be a sign for us of your overflowing mercy, and may we in turn pour out our own grace upon others. We give thanks for this opportunity to meet in your name and in the name of the one whose table is never too full. Amen. Amen.